there's new competition in town for Uber and Lyft, but this one comes with a twist. It's a new ride-sharing service for women, meaning passengers and drivers. As Christina Quinn tells us, it's all in the name of safety. Artist Heidi Beck just started driving for Safer, a ride-sharing service specifically targeted towards serving women. She also drives for Uber and Lyft and says for the most part she feels safe when she's shuttling strangers, but says concern about her safety always lingers in the back of her mind. You know, if I'm out at night, it's always possible to get in my car. I mean, you know, it could be anyone, but it's... It would be more likely that it might be somebody who is not a woman. Safer not only wants to eliminate that fear, they also want to equal the rideshare economy playing field for women, says company marketing manager Joanna Humphrey Flynn. It just is about the fact that women do have to think about these things, and because of it, they're currently blocked out of the rideshare economy right now, and that's just not fair. Male drivers dominate the rideshare economy. Women only account for 19% of Uber's driver workforce and 30% of Lyft's. Women drivers also earn less. Safer could change that. That is primarily due to the fact that they're not driving during peak hours, which is evenings and weekends, when they don't feel safe or comfortable picking up people and bringing them into their car. Safer is hiring male drivers and will pick up male passengers, but unlike other ride-sharing services, both the passenger and driver make a choice about gender. Still, Humphrey emphasizes that they are marketing specifically to women. We are a ride-sharing service for women. We market to women, just like L'Oreal is a makeup brand for women. They market to women, can't stop men from using it, and we certainly can't stop men from you know, applying or driving or riding with, with um, Safer. This may be a potential roadblock, according to the ACLU of Massachusetts, who says Safer could still be in violation of anti-discrimination laws since they're providing a transportation service, not a product. While Safer continues navigating the legal side of this new terrain, they are getting flooded with driver applications. They're also considering global expansion in countries where it's culturally frowned upon for women to drive with men they don't know. The demand is there, both at home and abroad. And for drivers like Heidi Beck, it's a no-brainer. It's about sending a message that, you know, that, that all people should be able to work and live in a you know, you know, climate of you know, like they are empowered. The woman in the passenger seat joins me now, Christina. Nice <laughs> to see you. I, I, you said they're flooded with. They said they're flooded with job applicants. So this yes. is just overflow from people who already drive for Uber and Lyft, or is it a whole different? No, they're deal? hearing from people who've never driven for other rideshare services. So why um, this? I, I think women are feeling feeling that they they're empowered and they they feel confident about driving. You know, knowing that they're just going to be picking up other women. And how, I know it's just a brief period of time. Are they really as successful as they're suggesting in short order here? They just launched. So they just launched um, at the beginning of the month. So you know, yeah. we'll see. Is this women for women thing happening anywhere else in the country? I've never heard of it yes. before. Yes, on the West Coast, there's a company called C. Jane Go. Um, I think they are based out of Orange County, so that's happening over the West Coast. You know, it, it seems to me that it, just like when this was launched as chariots for women or whatever it was a year ago, mm -hmm. it seems to me the big issue is the legal issue. As a father of two daughters, I hope this passes legal muster. But when I hear them say, and correct me if I'm mischaracterizing this, uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's for women, but we're not excluding men. Well, it's for African Americans, but we're not excluding whites. It's for Jews, but we're not excluding Christians. Mm -hmm. Do people like the civil liberties type think that's going to pass legal muster right. or no? Well, the woman I spoke with at the ACLU, her cons I think sh she's just as concerned as you are when it comes to that. She's saying if you're advertising to a specific demographic, there's potential for running afoul there. Even if you say as an afterthought, it's open to everybody. Right, right. Christina, thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you, Here's Christina. You.